pay professionals, so trick or treat. Let's be real, no one cares for tricks. So today I'm going to be showing you a new product that we're releasing here called Snap Captions Halloween Text Pack. So what is the Snap Captions Halloween Text Pack? Well, it's all these text effects right here, but here's what makes them special. If we actually cut into Resolve and have a look at them, let's just take Ghost. This is probably one of the cleanest, more simple ones we have. It's this nice, slow moving effect. Let's go, hey, it's a cool looking effect, but it's not standing out. It's not punching hard enough. We can simply click on the effect, go to the video title, and then scroll all the way down from the text tab here. And all the animation controls are easily controlled from the edit page right here. So we can crank up this waviness and then let's increase this glow strength and give it a bit more spread. And now we have a more aggressive ghost looking title effect. Easy as that. This applies for all the text effects. Taking a look at Snap Stranger here, that's really cool. But let's say, hey, we would like this to be a little more cinematic. We can simply click on the Snap Stranger, go to the animation speed and change it from a one to a two. So now when we have a quick play of this, we've got a title effect that should be much more likely to see in a movie during a title effect. But as nice and cinematic as that is, when you're turning these into captions, one of the unfortunate things is that these animation speeds have to be really quick, otherwise they take too long before the next letter words have to appear. So that's why we also have the options to speed them up dramatically. Just like that, easy as that. Snap Devil. This is a really cool, awesome effect. As hot as this text is, it will also burn a hole through your CPU. So what I really like doing with this one is just turning off the fire. This now means that I don't have to run through all this laggy text. I can actually go up here. I can change the size really quickly, change the positioning of the text, and it's responsive as that. Alternatively, if I did it with the fire still on, as you can see here, my poor MacBook Air M1 is really struggling to process all this data. And it can be really annoying when you're trying to time and frame everything. So that's why we've included the option to turn off the fire for this effect here. Moving on from that, we also have the Possessed Pumpkin. This is probably my absolute favorite. This one is super fun. And I'm gonna give you a quick tip with this one as well. With the pumpkin, we have to get a little bit more advanced with the grading. So we don't actually use the color tab for this. If I'm changing the colors here, it's changing here, but it's not changing here. Why is that? Well, if we just cut across to the shading tab over here, we can see that it's actually using a gradient right over here. So you can do this for any of the text as well. You might decide to go back over to the ghost and you're going, hey, Mr. Ghost, we'd actually like you to also be a gradient. Click on snap ghost, make sure we're on video title and then go to shading, make sure we're on element one. And then we can just go to this color drop down. just above it is gradient. And now just like that, we have ourselves a gradient option and we can choose any color we want. If we wanna do something more say ghostbustery, We've got Snap Zombie, which is your regular human text, and unfortunately it got a little infected and turned into a zombie. Moving on from this one, we have Goo. Now again, Goo, super easy, super simple. We've got your classic frequency to change the animation speed of the Goo, but we also have the sliminess slider to really give it that extra goopiness. And again, really cool, fun for titles, but if you're doing captions, the sliminess, if it goes too hard, can be a bit hard to read. So that's also why we have the option to bring it back in to be a more subtle mid animation effect. And finally, another one I'm really excited about is Snap Vampire. So looking through this, it's a very nice, very classic blood drooping down from the text here. We have a couple things in here worth mentioning. So we have the speed. So if you've got really long text and it's up for a short period of time, we can reduce that speed. And if we have a look at that again, it happens a lot quicker. Or if again, you want something more cinematic where you can really feel the animation, we can really slow it down. Now, you may have noticed there that there was a bit of a jump because of the lag, and that's because there's this really beautiful refraction effect happening in here to give it more of a blood feel. Now, as lovely and awesome as this is, sometimes our CPUs can't handle it, or again, if we're doing captions, people may not notice it. So we do have an option to just straight up disable it, which allows render times to go quicker and allows you to just really get in there and get things done while still having that really cool effect. Now, what's best of all is that I know a lot of you people want to use these for fun captions, and we have all of these titles also optimized for your phone. 
while this is already optimized for your phone, it's really important to know the workflow process to get the most out of it, to use them as efficiently as possible. So I'm gonna go through that with you right now. You may recognize this project as the example project that comes with Snap Captions when you download it. And again, it'll be the same one we're using here. So just having a quick play, we have some regular vertical short form content and we have some generated subtitles Did you know here. that we can finally in DaVinci Resolve create automatic... Now, fun little tip. If you don't have the paid version of DaVinci Resolve, you can actually generate subtitles with YouTube and download the SRT file, import it in and work from here as usual. Now, once we have our subtitle track and we're happy with that, next thing we want to do is generate the Snap Captions Halloween. Now, what's the best way to do this? I'm gonna show you a really easy trick to importing your Halloween text pack, and that's to use power bins. Now, if you can't see power bins, all you have to do is check them on. And to do that, at the top right of your media pool, there's these three dots, and there's show power bins. Click that, and you're good to go. Now, what I recommend doing is actually putting your Snap Captions Halloween pack inside the power bin, and you'll see that I've already pre-put mine right here. And all you wanna do is drag them from here into Snap Captions. Now, here's a quick warning, is that Snap Captions references a folder specifically called Snap Captions. Otherwise, it'll come up with bin cannot be found. If you drag the Snap Captions Halloween pack across and just right into your master bin so it's here, Snap Captions is not gonna find that at all, unfortunately. Make sure that it's called Snap Captions. So let's go through and generate pumpkin right now. We can go workspace, scripts, comp, Snap Captions, and then we're going to choose Snap Pumpkin. Now, make sure we're using the vertical optimized text, which is using the V code because we are using a vertical video here. Case conversion, capitalize all words, remove punctuation with 50 frame gap, and just hit generate. All right, so now it's generated, let's have a look at what we've created. Did you know that we can finally in DaVinci Resolve create automatic fancy cap? So as you can immediately see, the text is far too big and it's just not being contained well within it at all. Now, before I do it, there's actually two ways you can go about fixing this. You could actually go in here and reduce the amount of characters per line, or the other way is to make the text smaller. Now, I'm gonna show you how to do the text smaller. If you wanna do less characters, you'd simply generate another subtitle track with less characters per line. What we wanna do is select any of the text plus. I like using the first one in the timeline here and we're just gonna go in and change the sizing to better fit, which might be something like this. Did you know that we can... And we might choose to make the positioning just a little bit more centered in, get a bit more space, maybe scale it back up again because now we can. But once we're happy with the sizing, we don't wanna go through and manually adjust every single text. That's not gonna work at all. What we wanna do is rename this text to something else, something that we can find later. So in this case, I'm going to call this vertical version of Snap Halloween version 02. And I'm going to drag this back into here. So now all we have to do is go workspace, scripts, comp, snap captions, and generate them again. Now let's just hide this and have a look at what we've got. Did you know that we can finally into and just like that, we now have all the text aligned perfectly. Now, before you go, if you liked this video, then you'll probably like my Snap UI video where I go through a tool slash plugin that I made that allows you to see that all your fancy texts and all these screens you're creating doesn't compete with the UI of vertical video social medias like Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube Shorts. And until next time, I'll catch you around.